So you've completed your phonics program and your child can read pretty well. They can understand how to print and maybe do a tiny bit of cursive writing and you're saying, what do we do next? A very simple but effective uh, way to continue with your ch child's language arts education is to use copybooks. Copybooks uh, help the child to continue to interact with language, but there is a physical component that we often don't think about as parents. The, the physical act of holding onto that pencil and moving those lines requires muscle memory and it, if you have young children, if you've taught young children, you'll know those times too when they'll actually complain that their hand hurts. That's a very real issue and it takes time for these little ones to be able to write, physically write. Uh, so that, that that's something that's actually a factor for them, something we may not even consider when we say, have you done your school? We're thinking about the academic input. So copybooks help with this very important but often unnoticed issue. The other thing copybooks can help with is to fill their minds with good content, with poetry, with scripture reading, um, so that while they're building this muscle memory, while they're learning their letters and interacting with language, that language content is rich and meaningful. So what they copy really matters, not just that they copy. And it helps them with their memory work. I've, in our home, I have uh, intersected the copy books, the scripture copy books with the scripture memory verses that we learn in morning time. So it can help enhance what we're memorizing. And it will also help prepare them for the creating writing, creative writing process um, as they're learning the physical component of writing, as they're better able to control their muscle, uh, their muscles to write these beautiful uh, letters. Those things become second nature the way they are to you and me. But for a child, that has to be learned. So as that's learned, now the child can focus on content. And as they become come the, as they move towards a creative writing program uh, they can start to put those um, those more fundamental technical parts of writing aside um, and start to in incorporate the creative writing process vocabulary uh, spelling um, spelling words and things like that those things will start to come nat more naturally having said that what should we use then for a copybook well, I have a couple of uh, different options here, and both of them I think are fantastic resources. I can't really recommend one over the other, um, other than that um, uh, they're, they're both really, really good. The first one I have here is by Simply Charlotte Mason, and she has, um, they have two different, two different uh, writing styles so the the program that they you could start with is delight it's called delightful handwriting and the two different styles that they use are Danelian and Zainer Bloser they're two the Danelian letters printed letters have a bit of a slant to them while the Zainer Bloser is very block very straight um, so we start with the teachers the teacher's guide and it will go through um, the student book letter by letter and it will explain how the child should be uh, learning to write these letters whether they're straight up or whether they're slightly curved it gives instructions to the parent it has some ideas for tactile uh, interaction with the child say um, using a bucket of rice where the child traces the letter uh, some children need to have a little bit more of that um, uh, touch component to learning and so she uh, in this book, um, she really helps to give some ideas for that. So this, the teacher's manual helps us to understand how to teach the child. So this is the Zainer Bloser student book. And there's just a sample there of the block letters um, and, the, and how a student will start writing uh, uh, very, very large letters. It's clear, it's large, easy to copy. 
Those are the uppercase letters. And here's just an example of some lowercase letters. Nice and big and easy to read. There's This is a copy of the uh, Danelian student book. Um, you wouldn't do both. You would have, you would choose either or. Either your child would be learning the Danelian print or the Zener Bloser print. Um, that is an uppercase example. And I will find a lowercase example here. There we go. Lots of copying um, and uh, very simple large letters. Then once they've completed uh, that, they can move on to um, the next level, which is called print to cursive. Uh, why should a student learn cursives? Excellent question. One of the simple, very simple reasons I've noticed in our own homeschool is that uh, cursive writing is, is faster. The student um, keeps the letters together. They lift the pencil off the page less often, which means they can have much neater work. The other thing I've noticed too is when a child has something like even minor dyslexia, as pretty much all children do when they're learning how to read and write, um, it helps them to keep the letters the right way around. There's only one way to write a cursive B and one way to write a cursive D. You have to go around, circle, up with a stick, and then a, a curve on the bottom, and you can keep going. That's a D. A B, though, is a loop up, and then a, a curve and doesn't quite close. It stays open just a little bit, and then a bit of a hook. That's a B. Very, very different when it's cursive writing. So for a student, a young student who maybe struggles with which direction does the B's and the D's go, uh, teaching cursive writing, in, I have seen, um, I, I've seen it be very effective where that question just doesn't come up anymore um, because they're very different letters. So I strongly recommend uh, for many, many reasons, look into maybe finding some resources on the benefits um, of teaching your child cursive. And then um, you can use these excellent resources to help you transition from print to cursive. So this one is Danelian, and the subject, as it states there, is the Proverbs. Um, what your student will be doing in this book is initially writing out the proverb, and that's print. That's a Danelian print there. And we're going to be moving that into um, the, after the print, then they do a cursive. There's the cursive letter that they will practice and a cursive word. So it very simply just alternates between uh, print and cursive. As they're um, writing out the proverb, the next lesson is a few words of cursive as they learn um, the individual letters in cursive as well. So it's a very um, effective, um, simple way to have your child uh, learn the transition. So here again is the Zener Bloser, that's the nice block letters, that's where the child will be copying um, the, the print and then they will learn the cursive um, and there we can see one letter at a time, learning the cursive letter at a time and then moving into um, words and hooking those, learning to keep those letters together um, to write out words. If you're finding that your student needs a little bit more practice, which is almost guaranteed to be true, um, they're learning these letters, um, but that's not a lot there, that one page. Um, what Simply Charlotte Mason has is the copybook reader. Now I'm only going to show you the Danelians here, just to give you an idea of what the con of the content. Um, here's a copybook reader, and it features all things bright and beautiful and an Aesop's fable. And so the student is pretty much just going to be copying out this excellent content and just repeating it, writing it out and repeating it. And one page a day is really all your student needs to do. Um, it's very simple, as I said, and very effective. And I'll show you some of my own children's work a little bit later. Um, again, here's book two, um, simple copying. And then, um, sorry, this is the, yeah, so this is book two. And then we have book three. And this one is based on The Wise May Bring Their Learning Poem and Country Noises, which is a story, and also has Luke chapter 12, uh, verse 27 to 31. And they just copy. So it's a beautiful way. Um, this program from Simply Charlotte Mason is a beautiful way to help your child learn to work continue to work on their language arts, continue to learn to um, spell, uh, to craft beautiful handwriting, and to memorize excellent content. The next program I want to share with you briefly is from Memoria Press, 
and this is they have again very again very simple copy books this is their print copy book book one and it's based on scriptures and poems there are a number of teaching guidelines uh, in the front page these memoria press texts do not come with a separate teacher's guide the teacher's notes are all within the book itself um, and it's again very simple here's some student guidelines how to hold a pencil um, crossing your letters properly and then very simple just uh, tracing and copying letters um, and as the child goes along they will start to write out scripture texts same as the previous program we looked at uh, nice big block letters and with these the memoria press earlier younger grades will also have a space for the child to draw and uh, after they're finished writing they can um, spend a little bit of time sketching what they were what they had copied and if there's something that comes to mind they can draw that out book two um, manuscript and cursive so now this is copy book but book two will start to bring them towards cursive so here we have ma manuscript um, and it again we're going to see the letters move from bigger to smaller so now our bars are getting a little bit smaller there and as we go to the end now we're going to have some cursive um, and so if you if you if you want to just go ahead and have your child start working on cursive there it is copy it I've got, you can copy it over and then that's book two and then there's book three and this again is manuscript and now you're going to see um, so we're copying scriptures scripture texts in this one um, and some poems and some proverbs um, and we're going to see here that the bars are getting smaller and now here we've there's no more dotted line um, now they're going to be writing quite small um, and that's book that would be book three so how then sh can you teach your child if you need a little bit more instruction how do we form these letters what is the proper technique well then i would recommend um, memoria press's program called new american uh, cursive penmanship now as a canadian i can tell you not to be afraid of the phrase american up there there's really nothing particularly american other than that maybe it's north american and if it's north american well that would include us too. So let's just go with that. The new American cursive, including Northern Americans or Canadians, how about, let's do that. Um, so the way this program works that we have this lovely uh, chart here with all the letters and how they're formed. Um, and again, we have uh, teacher's notes, teaching guides at the beginning. Now this one is very, very simple, very uh, easy for the child even to read and understand if they need to. Um, and then the fun part about this is that they have a little companion here who takes them through the book and that's the little meerkat and the meerkat will help them um, and to, to uh, craft these letters and learn how to, to draw them properly. So it's very simple, crafting the letters uh, and repeating. This one is very repetitive for each letter. Say the letter, feel the letter, write the letter. Very, very repetitive, very simple. If you feel like your student needs a little bit of um, work to practice the letter, then they have the cursive practice sheets. And this corresponds with New American Cursive 1. So if they've learned L, here's the, not that's not the L, but in here is the L practice page. There we go. So it's just a very simple way of continuing on with uh, practicing those letters that they've learned. So you would go with the New American uh, workbook to learn the letters, and then you would go with the cursive practice sheet book uh, that corresponds with the uh, New American book. Uh, book two, again, is famous quotations in scripture. So now uh, we're going to go, we've learned how to form the letters. We've got um, some reminders here, some help. This is book two. And there's some more practice with, with guidance. The meerkat is, going, is giving us guidance and is reminding us how to hold the page, how to form the letters. And as we go along, the lines are going to get smaller and smaller and the letters are going to get somewhat uh, smaller and neater and cleaner. And again, there's a cursive practice sheet to accompany book two. Here's book three, workbook three. And again, this gets quite small. So we've got letter review, but now you can see we're getting quite small there. Um, so we're gonna be we're, we're going to be working quite hard on our on on being neat. Now there's 
Also, the supplement to that, um, the, cur the copybook cursive. So once you've completed that program, then what? Um, copybook cursive. And this is just a straight up copybook um, practice. This book is actually my own, one of my daughter's books. She's completed this one. And um, this entails the verse up on the top and then the page below it for them to copy out the verse on the lines. Very, very simple. Uh, we enjoyed doing this together so much. Um, and some of the poetry in here was just delightful. Um, as it goes along, the lines, as you can see, get a bit smaller. Here's the text and here's the lines. This book, again, has some space for the child to draw. Um, sometimes my children would draw and sometimes they just had that that creative part of them was not um, active so I did I didn't push it I just left it um, copy book two um, it's they're getting more advanced now where we don't have the dotted lines so much um, but we definitely have uh, content um, we have books of the Bible uh, Bible memory verses scripture verses um, to copy out and then there's copy book three and again this oh yes okay so this is another daughter's work um, this is getting quite small but they're copying out that text the benefit to this is just a daily routine of copying handwriting and I've seen it in my own children's work um, they'll get sloppy as they um, kind of get bored with it maybe or they f don't find that it's useful but they need encouragement as you can see here that was quite neat and then a few days later um, that was not so neat and so we had to have a little conversation which we did and um, she she can do it she can do a very good job so there's there's that component to take pride in your work do a good job and finally I want to share with you this this beautiful picture that my daughter made for me and as you can see there's a lot of cursive on it um, and what I was most excited about was to read the little scripture texts in the corners um, and a lot of these come these scripture texts come from the copybook that she's been working through um, this one love the Lord your God with all your heart soul and mind um, this one, I am the Lord your God in here, but Noah found grace in the eyes of God. And then here is a list of the fruits of the spirit. Um, this was something that she created um, for me. Just it was that was her creative time. And um, what I saw reflecting back was uh, the work that we had put into copybooks, not just the, the hand penmanship that is neat writing, but also the content. It's just the content is just glowing here. So I will put a link uh, below this video so that you can see a list of these um, copybooks. There's copybooks of Aesop's Fables, copybooks with Latin, um, lots of different things you can do with copybooks. I hope you found inspiration um, to use these, uh, to, to use these um, lovely, lovely books. If you have any questions, please leave them here. I'd love to hear your questions and um, talk more about how this can be effective in our homeschools. May God bless you all.